we could see different colors in uh, different sea waves every time i'm filling dark portion using colors lemon yellow ultramarine blue rose china and white as per the requirement ultramarine blue rosiana and uh, a little bit lemon yellow for a greenish effect and white as needed and uh, whenever we would like to show gray effect use colors magenta burnt umber some uh, touch of persian blue add a very very little touch of black because black will cut a hardness and brightness of colors and make them dull and uh, natural effect will come out there is no line in the nature wherever you see there are only patches of colors it is if uh, you see a nature with a eyes of art we are always trying to capture the same colors and uh, try to paint a realistic painting this is a small layer of water i am uh, showing here we will give more details to it later on I am giving some light details over the stone which we will develop later on and uh, these are just ideas of a final layer session
these colors i am uh, mixing for sky including titanium white ultramarine blue little bit magenta and uh, cerulean blue and the very very little touch of black I am filling mass into the sky which is a big portion that will fill up first. Colors I have used titanium white, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, a little bit magenta and a very little black. We should change the tone by adding titanium white, change sky color as per the requirement because of sky has many colors and uh, it is changing in every moment but we have to prepare one middle tone which we have made look now i added a white to fill up a lighter part of sky When we are filling up sky, we have to mix all the tones properly that we have to keep in mind. In this corner, I have used and uh, given a little bit magenta tone. Leave the portion of clouds and just fill up middle tone in the sky. I am filling this color by showing clouds effects which are at uh, very distance near cloud I will fill further. I am showing some reflection of the sky in the sea water using the same color tone.
now i am uh, going to start filling up clouds which looks like uh, cotton i am using a white color but not pure white a uh, little touch of ultramarine blue and black and uh, mauve keep a big percentage of uh, titanium white then uh, we will give extreme highlight to the clouds later on we have to fill up colors as look like a single atmosphere clouds should not look separated it looks like a mix with uh, sky very naturally we are giving dark effect to the clouds extreme light we will put later on keep mixing all the tones with uh, each other hardness should not be seen because always we look at the sky it looks very soft every time to show dark effect in clouds add uh, ultramarine blue magenta as per the requirement and uh, fill up clouds i am putting some details of clouds this is just first layer fill up of sky and clouds we have to separate dark and light portion even in the clouds as we have done in uh, sea waves
I took uh, pure titanium white to show some uh, extreme highlight which would uh, mix up with sky because of this layer is wet right now but uh, this would be beneficial in a final layer filling. We have to mix up a sea level and uh, sky very properly because the sky and uh, sea level should not look separated. We have to break hardness and uh, sea level line. We can fill single atmosphere. Now you can see the sky and uh, sea become a single part of a painting. I am correcting uneven line of sea level. This is the almost completed first layer of uh, painting. As you have seen that we have focused on each and every component of painting to make it effective. And uh, you also have to keep in mind uh, not only for this particular painting but any painting you painted in future by yourself. Final detail layer we will see in the next session.